what do we miss out on when we don't follow God's leading in our lives? So we touched on that this Sunday in our worship services. We were learning from Joseph's response to the angel who told him in a dream, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Though Joseph had every reason to be fearful of what others might think, Joseph chose obedience, obedience to God above all else. And because of it, he got to be part of the biggest miracle in history, God with us, coming to save us from our sin. If Joseph hadn't been obedient to what God called him to do, he would have missed out on all that. Now, while Joseph was a positive example of choosing faithful obedience over what others might think, we can see in John chapter 12, the negative example of choosing what others think over obedience to God. You can look at John 12, verse 42. It says, Many, even among the leaders, believed in him, that is Jesus. But because of the Pharisees, they would not openly acknowledge their faith for fear they would be put out of the synagogue. And verse 43 goes on to say, for they loved human praise more than praise from God. We can see that many chose to surrender to the opinions of the people in power rather than to the will of God. And because of that choice, they missed out on being with Jesus in the flesh. They had him in their very midst, and yet they chose to turn away in favor of approval from human authorities. How many times do we love human praise more than praise from God? Listen, we all do it. Human praise feels good in the moment, and praise from God is less tangible. But one is momentary, and the other is eternal. And what moments and miracles do we miss out on when we choose to please people rather than God? It's something to think about today, something to have an honest conversation with God about. Allow God to search your heart for where you're resistant to following him. Ask him to reveal to you if that resistance comes from a fear of disappointment or disapproval from someone else. Acknowledge it and ask for God's help in overcoming it. Ask God to help you understand his call on your life, to make it clear what it is he'd have for you to do and admit to him what it is that makes it difficult. And then ask him for the courage to do it anyway. And then be reminded that he will not leave you or forsake you. We are all called to live for God's approval above all else. And here's the good news. Because of Jesus, we already have God's approval. So don't miss the moments and miracles that he has in store for you. Through your obedience, you get to be part of what God is doing all around us.